I'm Ryan at Movie Clips, and we're here with Vince Vaughn from nice the internship. Nice to see you, bud. Nice and to thank see you, you for the well. swag here. I got my, got my shirt, which is exciting. And thank you. Is this a shirt as well? Or yes. Very nice. Both of our companies, so. Very nice. Thank, thank you. Thank you for representing. We are a channel of movie fans, so we Great. came up with a list of Rapid fire questions for you. We have to. Gut reaction. We have to. So we got a few and we're just gonna rock through them. There's no, there's no right answer. Notebook or Pretty Woman? Pretty Woman. Rom-com or sci-fi? Mm. Gut reaction, just go for it. Oh man. But uh, this will live forever on the internet. That's okay. I'm comfortable with that because we all know that what can be true for someone today might be different tomorrow. We're allowed to change. Um, and I don't feel like I'm, I'm uh, doing anything bad. Um, I will say, say sci-fi. Julie Roberts or Sandra Bullock? I'm not gonna choose between those two angels. Breakfast Club or Pretty in Pink? John Hughes is my favorite. Um, I love both of those movies. I'll go Breakfast Club. Zombies or vampires? Maybe we need a time out from both. From zombies and vampires? I like it. Just the world in general? I like it. I think it's great, but I feel like maybe let's get something else in there. Saturation level has been reached. I think it's fantastic. Yeah. Star Trek or Star Wars? Star Wars. Tim Burton's Batman or Chris Nolan's Batman? Well, maybe just because of the age I was, I'll say Tim Burton. Digital or celluloid? <laughs> Digital. <laughs> That's controversial. Sir. Yes, we have to um, be. At this point, we have to be. <laughs> Young William Shatner or old William Shatner? Like wine, I'm gonna go with older Shatner. I Although agree with the, you. Uh, you know, the um, Rocket Man is tremendous, isn't it? A young Shatner doing the Rocket I Man mean, interpretation, literally undefeated and it, just greatness. He meant everything. He got word. in. He got in. He got well, underneath some moments. He had a cigarette that made sense to him. Multi personalities, committed, right? Powerful. And I'm, it felt like the folks at the award show were like, yeah, that just happened. He just yeah. made that happen. And I don't know if, if, if since then it's been a little bit more tongue in cheek. That's but true. But that looked like we're all in, right? I mean, I'm getting emotional thinking Wasn't about it. Wasn't that sh a young Shatner taking all of his chips and pushing him in the middle of the felt? I'd agree with you. Right? In terms of girls with the dragon tattoo, uh -huh. Swedish version or American version? I guess I'll go with the Swedish version. In terms of Americans, pie or psycho? Uh, pie. Puppets or marionettes, not movie related. Marionette. There's no, there's never, you, that's a question you're never going to have to explain to anyone. <laughs> if someone needs that question explained to you, they ought not sit in this seat. Because <laughs> a reasonable man cannot disagree with marionette. Avatar or Titanic? Let me get off this lifeboat and let you live. Titanic. Red pill or blue pill? Blue. Ghostbusters or Ghost Protocol? Buster. I'm not afraid of that ghost. <laughs> Mission Impossible or Born Identity? We're going to go Born Identity. Twilight or Twilight Zone? Twilight Zone. Are you zoning with me? I'm right with you. Now, what did you think of the movie? I'm not sure I've seen it in its completion in some time. Now, how about the TV show? Fantastic. The TV show, Is the writing unbelievable? Really was incredible. Was this guy a heavyweight talent? Groundbreaking. Groundbreaking. He was an amazing, amazing talent, right? I'm right, I'm right with you powerful, on that Powerful, powerful. I see your lemonade. Arnold Palmer? You just had your cake and can ate we, it too. Can we, yeah. can we? Cannonball Run or Smokey the Bandit? Smokey. Gremlins 1 or Gremlins 2? Gremlins 1. Because without it, there would be no Gremlins 2. Magic Mike or Boogie Nights? Let's boogie. Will Ferrell, preferred with the shirt on or the shirt off? There's no wrong Ferrell. And that's something that I think that we should all understand for these questions in the future. There's no such thing as a wrong Ferrell. In fact, I think you need a, sh a shirt Ferrell to appreciate a shirtless Ferrell, and you need a shirtless Ferrell to appreciate a shirt Ferrell. For my final question, though, Ferrell. Matthew McConaughey, same question. Maybe both, too. There's no wrong McConaughey. Thank you so much. Thank you. It's been informative and fun. I, I think it has been fun. I think the questions are very good, and I'd like to ask you quickly, if I can, sure. any of those that we disagree on, and let's just, if you have a time, let's just let's, let's talk about why quickly. Puppets or marionettes? You're gonna go puppet. I mean, there weren't many Muppets who were marionettes. Okay, but there were a few. But do Muppets trump all? Muppets I, trump all. For I mean, you. yes. Yes, for you, Muppets trump yeah. all. So the question should be Muppets or anything else. Is That's true. Puppets is misleading. In, in which case, the answer is Muppets. All, but there are some puppets that are not Muppets. Well, yes, yes, they're like rectangles and squares. Puppet shows have been going on for a very long time. It's true. Uh, I'm not going to say that Jim didn't pioneer the puppet, but he didn't invent it. Um, and I think Jim would be the first to say that. So for me, I feel that if it's Muppets or marionettes, that's a different question. Uh -huh. But let's dial into this. Puppets, all things puppet, or all things marionette. Then I'd have to go marionettes. Okay. Then I agree with you. Okay. We're back okay. to where we started. I'm okay. glad we got there. Thank you. Thank you so much. Pleasure.